What is happening guys? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. Today we have a super overdue video for you guys. This is a box that we received from Lone Star Discs of basically all their molds. Uh, we've actually started reviewing them on this channel. I think we reviewed the Mad Cat already. Um, but we just wanted to get in here and show you guys what we have uh, and everything they sent us. Uh, the only one that I've seen so far is that Mad Cat that we went out and throw or through so so yeah guys this video is just gonna be like pulling all the discs out looking at them just my reaction and first thoughts on Lone Star discs as a whole all right guys let's jump right in the first one we have is a harpoon from Lone Star so this is like a base putter plastic um, it's really pretty gosh and it's a little bit bendy yeah so it's a it's an overstable four speed this is in uh, the victory plastic I believe it is and this plastic actually floats so that's pretty cool oh no well, we're gonna test out see if that floats <laughs> oh, wait. yeah don't forget the, the thing <laughs> don't forget the block <laughs> Got it. One of three or four different types of plastic that should be in here. All right guys, so yeah, that is our first disc, the harpoon. Okay, next, moving right along, is the penny putter. And so I've definitely heard a lot about this. So this is in a premium plastic, in their Bravo plastic. Uh, it's really nice, really swirly, with the red stamp. I love the stamp on this. I love the like the actual penny logo thing, it's sweet, sick. Um, this is just your basic putter. I think that a lot of Lone Star people are going to be putting with this, but this is a premium thrower. Looks great, feels great, probably flies great. We'll let you know. All right, moving right into the third one. Okay, we've got the MIDI from Lone Star. This is uh, a five speed mid range, overstable, I think. Um, again, we'll have the numbers on the screen for all of you, all of these discs. This is in a Bravo plastic. It feels pretty similar. Yeah, this was in Bravo as well. So this is like their starish plastic. I don't actually know the difference between Alpha and Bravo. Hopefully we'll be able to tell um, when we get into it a little bit more. But yeah, this is an overstable mid-range that's gonna fly like an MD3. It's super flat and feels, there's no bead on it, but it definitely has like a buzzish feel in the hand. Feels great. And it's got a little Viking on it, so that's fun. The MIDI. The MIDI. The MIDI. Okay, next is, an, this is another harpoon, guys, but this one's an alpha plastic. And I'm trying to feel the difference, guys, between Bravo and alpha. I think alpha is firmer plastic, definitely stiffer. They look and feel very similar. It's just the stiffness, I think, and maybe, I don't know, they're both, they're both a little bit translucent. I'm not sure what the difference is, but uh, yeah, that's, that's a premium harpoon there. All right, guys, so this is the Penny Putter in Victor Plastic, and it says V2. The harpoon earlier said V1. I'm not sure what the difference is, but yeah, guys, this is your go-to Lone Star Putter. This is the, the money maker. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, again, love the stamp, looks really solid, and it feels really grippy. So I think this would be a really good thrower too. I like throwing base plastic putters, so this seems like it would be a really nice thrower. All right, moving on up. Okay, we have the Mockingbird Kaka is what it says. Um, this one is in Bravo plastic. So again, the Bravo is also really swirly. Like all their Bravo discs are pretty swirly looking. This is a seven speed, I believe. Is that right? Seven speed? I think so. I think it's like flippy seven speed. Yeah, so this one probably kind of like an F5 from Prodigy or maybe like a Leopard from Innova. This is, you know, your flippy sh to straight flying fairway. Um, feels good. This one's really domey. It's kind of the first one that I've seen from them that's not super flat. Um, but I really love the stamp design. Super, I love Bravo Plastic. I'm really liking the way it feels. That one looks like it's gonna fly great. All right, next. All right, this is the Mad Cat. So we already have a review for the Mad Cat up on the channel. This one is in Alpha Plastic. Man, okay. I cannot get the difference between Alpha and Bravo. I guess this is stiffer and it's not quite as swirly, but they both feel really nice, really premium. There's like slick and, and they, I don't know, they have good grip. 
they feel like they're gonna be durable. I don't, I don't know, but this one is a nine speed over stable. In the review video, we compare this to the Firebird and the Captain's Raptor. Um, and it's somewhere between a Sexton Firebird and a Captain's Raptor in stability. Uh, so yeah, it starts out at least very overstable, but I think the numbers might be 9502. Overstable fairway driver, the Mad Cat. I love that artwork. It's like a kid drew. Okay, we're moving into more big distance drivers now. This is the, this, this is gorgeous, okay? This is the Lone Star Curl and it's beautiful. This is in Bravo plastic, so I think that's more reaffirming that the Bravo plastic is prettier. <laughs> it's the swirlier. And this, there's no numbers on this, but I'm pretty sure it's an 11 speed overstable kind of wraithish uh, driver. And it feels great, it's very domey. And this plastic is super translucent. I don't know if you can see my hand through it, but the wave on it is beautiful. I love this. I can't wait to get out and throw that. I think this is the one I'm most excited to see fly. Okay, next is the Bowie in Bravo plastic. It's a super swirly blue. Okay, I can't, this one is a distance driver for sure, and I don't know the numbers on it, but I think it's either a 13 or a 14 speed disc. It's super fast and super overstable and it is way too much for my arm, I think. But <laughs> the, the, the bigger speed arms are gonna love this one because it's super overstable. Um, when Luke and Will got out and threw this for the first time, they said that this one was like, you know, something that you could put out on a forehand with a little bit of Anheuser and it would just fight out of it immediately. So we'll get a review up on this as soon as we can. We might have to find an arm that can show you how it actually flies. <laughs> super beefy disc. Um, but yeah, that's the Bowie. Okay, next is the Armadillo. This one's super unique, guys. You're gonna wanna check this out. Okay, this is a 1201 disc, and it has like that thumb track on it. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like the Pig or the Berg or the Banger GT. Like, it's got that, that thumb track around the edge. Super slow, and from what I understand, it flies like a, a flippy bird. That is what they say. And this one is in glow plastic. So it doesn't say like if it's, I guess it's GA, so glow alpha probably is what this is. Um, and I hear their glow is really nice. So this is another one that we're gonna, you're gonna wanna look out for a review of this on the channel, cause this could find its way into a lot of you Berg lovers bags if you need some flippy version of the Berg. Hmm. Drop a like for Berg vs. Armadillo. Berg vs. Armadillo challenge? All right, we got three left. Okay, here's another distance driver, and this one is beautiful, the Warbird. So this one is like destroyer-ish, 12, 6, negative 1, 3. Um, this is so beautiful. I love the stamp, and I love the halo of the, this is, this is alpha plastic. Okay, well, I'm not really sure. Definitely alpha plastic is stiffer, but this is the prettiest alpha plastic that I've seen so far, so they can do pretty either way you want it. Um, I will need to dig into more what the difference is, but this is awesome. Gonna be super overstable. This might be like your go-to distance driver, either this or the Curl uh, from Lone Star. If you're like trying to get a Lone Star bag together, consider the Warbird. This one looks sick. Can't wait to get out there and throw that. Two left. Oh, and this one is another putter that we haven't tried yet. Okay, so this is the Jackrabbit in Victor plastic. This is in V1. Golly, look at how swirly that is. This is really cool looking for a, for a putting plastic putter. This looks really nice. This one is beaded. So the penny putter is not beaded. This one, I'm not sure what the numbers are. I don't know if it's stable or not. But this one, I'm a bead putter guy, so this one feels a lot better in my hand. And I love the stamp design. The Jackrabbit is only in the floating plastic, you can say that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they don't actually make a premium plastic version of the Jackrabbit, it's just the Victor floating plastic. Um, so yeah, this is their putting plastic, feels great. So I guess you're either a, a beaded Jackrabbit guy or you're a non-beaded penny guy, so let us know. All right, last one is the BB-6. So I love this stamp. I think it's so cool. We were just talking about it earlier. Uh, I love the, the the corkscrew baseball on there. This is five five. I 
think negative two one or negative one two. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a flippy to straight mid range, kind of like Buzz SS ish. It'll be a great complement to the MIDI. Like if you've got the, the MIDI like MD3 vibe and then you have the Buzz SS vibe, you've got all the shots you need in your bag right there. And this one feels amazing. It's in their glow plastic. And I'm trying to see, this one said, oh, you know, this one just says glow BB6. So maybe they just make one type of glow plastic. And yeah, this one's awesome. I can't wait. This one's gonna sneak into my bag after we review it. <laughs> it feels great. It's like the perfect like amount of grip. All right guys, so that is our package from Lone Star. Be on the lookout for a review for every single one of these discs on this review channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to see all that content. You can check out Lone Star, all of their discs in our Lone Star playlist. And yep, yeah, we'll see you in the next one guys. Stay swanky.